Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we are a little bit perplexed, as usual. No rain for the last two months in our rainy season. But uh, we can see how nature hands water to the plants through fog, especially the oak trees. They can survive in these conditions. The pond is low and the vetiver is growing. The neighbor is chopping down trees or pruning them heavily and uh, we are planting but uh, we're looking for alternatives or our minds are looking for alternatives to do in this drought conditions and uh, then the Italian volunteers handed me this vetiver perfume and uh, <coughs> I sat upright and I thought, uh, I mean, this is now coping with a chuckle. I said to myself, let's plant vetiver all over the whole farm monoculture and use the hydrocarbons in the roots and we can sell the essence for the manufacturing of perfumes. At least we can smell nice. Okay, that is one chuckle for the day. Let's walk to the other side. The uh, other chuckle for the day is uh, I'm going to order some pheromone spray for the dogs and spray it all around the farm and see if they can get out. Make my day! I mean, the only way they can get out is by digging profusely and uh, by that time I will have noticed, would have noticed that. So no chance guys, <coughs> no girlfriends. We don't allow foreigners here. We have a secluded community of dogs. Ha <laughs> ha. Talking about essential oils. I dropped a few drops of peppermint essential oil into this excavator just to get the voles and the rats and the mice away from the wires. I don't know why they nest this time of the year but uh, I don't want them here. And then <clears throat> we have our open air dry swales. So uh, if there's no water, we can use them for military bunkers. And what else? Maybe community can leave some comments on what I can use it for. If it is not raining and it doesn't hold water. Exciting times. Looking for alternatives. <laughs> With a chuckle. These yellow leaves are the asparagus that we have left to grow to strengthen their roots. But uh, the next one that sticks its head out of the uh, earth will be in the pot, the next asparagus. Or maybe we can extract some essential oils from them as well and mix it with the vetiver and have a asparagus vetiver perfume. You never know. Life is good. 
Just be creative. Do exciting things. Here at the distribution pond, we are distributing air in four directions. <laughs> Hopefully it will fill up sometime. They say complaining is the poor, poor a poor man's pure prayer. Pfft. Okay, I'm doing that well right now. Till next time, goodbye.